Uh, now we want to do our Hall of Fame winners. You guys are going to sit in the chairs, although we have to clean out the chairs. Uh, we'll take the Erie Hotel and Restaurant. Best Western, the Inn and Bus Landing. So one representative from each business, please. Frontier Communications. The River Reporter. Laurel Grove Florist and Greenhouses. Zytone Construction. The William F. Carroll Agency. And Bavoso and Plotsky. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our Hall of Fame. All right. Reg and I are going to tag team this a little bit. First, we have to see you set in the first uh, hot seat. I can start down there. <laughs> Gary, why don't, why don't you stand up for a sec? And then we'll let you sit down. This is Gary Batzel with the, did I say that correctly? Basil. 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 It's like basil. It's like basil. <laughs> it's like basil. And um, they have the renowned and gorgeous Laurel Grove Florist and Greenhouses in Port Jordan. <laughs> criteria for the Hall of Fame, which we began last year, and we hope you all see the, the plaque out front with last year's inductees on it. You must be a chamber member for 10 years in a row, in business for at least 20 years. You must serve as a, an example to other, business, other businesses for how you do business, the pride in which you take care of your business the way that you serve as a role model for others, and your community service, and the way the communities embrace you. So that's kind of the criteria. I think we pretty much said it in a nutshell, but is there anything that, hold on Reg, we're not ready. We want to let him talk a little bit. Okay, he's just trying to give you the award. Here, Gary, get out. He's so excited. <laughs> he's so excited. So, you know, just tell us a little bit about the love that you and um, and Eileen have for the business. And I know you're both a little shy, but there's a lot of love in this room for you guys. She's laughing. She's like, oh, he's, it's him, it's not me. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so just tell us a little bit about the love that you have for the business. And we see you working hard. If you guys can see, this is a farmer's hand. I grew up in Georgia. They, yeah, you can tell that they, they put love into everything they do. You, you have beautiful work throughout the city. All of us buy your things. So tell us a little bit about the love you put into what you do. Well, <laughs> I think everybody that knows me knows how passionate I am about pretty much everything I do. And, uh, and it wasn't just flowers. Before this, I used to work for Pepsi, and I was passionate about that. And before I did that, I, I cut firewood, and I was pretty passionate about that. So I, I think it's, uh, it's just in me, you know? It's what I do, and I love it. Um, I wouldn't... I wouldn't be nearly as good as I am if I didn't have a, my supporting cast over there, all my employees and family, to uh, to back. Me. I, I, mean, I really do feel like I have the best job in the world. You know, when you when you come to Laurel Grove, everybody says, you know, when when I retire, I would love to do this. No, I'm not retired, but I love. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, everybody, for. Uh, your support. Without you, it wouldn't be me. So, thanks. Well, we have a first to your comments. I present you with this Hall of Fame plaque. Congratulations. On to our next Hall of Fame. This is George Zaiton of Zaiton Construction. Stand up, George. George is also the mayor of the, the uh, Township of Montague, is it? Township of Montague. George is a straight shooter. I've only met him a few times, but you're a straight shooter, George. I like that about you. They do incredible work in the tri-state area. They do huge projects. They do small projects. They do just about everything. And you guys have been in business. You're a family business, generations. 
and just tell us a little bit about Zytone and some of the things you guys do. Okay. I could tell you it wasn't a labor of love, it was a choice. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a choice, it was a demand for uh, uh, Bill and I. Um, my father uh, started Zytone Construction in 1955 along with my aunt and my uncle. Um, we have built uh, a lot of projects in the tri-state area. I'll hold it up. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, in um, 2005, my father passed away, and uh, Bill Zernel and myself took the company over in 2007, um, and we've been, you know, trying to move ahead and, and move the company forward since, uh, or in the same path that it's taken since 1955. The economy, the way it's been the last couple of years, has been a little rough, but we're still uh, trying to plug along just like everybody else. And, and uh, thank you for the award. Thank you. Okay, he's saying I'm bossy. That's what he's saying. Okay. He's saying like, okay. Okay, we next have the River Reporter, Jane Bollinger. Correct? Bollinger? Jane, come on. Now, is there anybody in this room who hasn't heard of the River Reporter? I don't think so. They are an award-winning mag uh, newspaper newspaper with a very distinct voice, and that voice we all hear in this region. They care about the nature. They care about business. They care about communities, and we hear your voice. And we thank you for your commitment to this area for many, many years. And on behalf of the River Reporter, I know, Jane, you're going to tell us a little bit about this award-winning newspaper. Um, the River Reporter was started more than 35 years ago. It started out as a mimeograph sheet. Remember, you could smell the purple ink. <laughs> um, it was started as a community. Uh, paper, it was run by volunteers. Um, and the publisher, Lori Stewart and her family bought it. Um, we are weekly. Uh, we think we're distinctive because we love local organizations and uh, local entertainment venues. And if you know us, we have dozens of little articles in the paper. Um, we cover news from uh, Port Jervis and Madam Morris all the way to Hancock on a staff of about five people. Um, so we work really hard. We love our communities. And please keep sending us your announcements because you are our bread and butter. Um, thank you for this award. Well, we have the Tri-State Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Ah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Isn't he great? I love that he's in the middle. <laughs> oh, this next firm, I'm going to let Lynn talk to you a bit uh, uh, about that firm and the talented group of attorneys. Glenn, come on up. Bovoso and Plotsky, how long have you guys been around? Uh, the firm itself, 35 years. I've been part of it uh, for the last about 24. 24 years. So tell us a bit about your practice. We are very honored to, uh, Glenn has been on our board how many years now? About 23. Okay. 23, as long as uh, some has been sponsoring the Spring Banquet, that's how long he's been on our board. <laughs> Glenn, we thank you for your commitment and your firm to this region, this area, and tell us a bit about your firm and uh, congratulations to all of you. Well, first, I'm going to start by saying thank you. Um, our firm has been located in the same building uh, since before I came to town. I came to town in 1991. Um, it's a general practice firm. I do litigation. We do a lot of real estate. We represent, I believe, pieces or all of five municipalities. Um, we've represented, for example, the town of Deer Park for I think it's going on 29 years consecutively. Um, and we will be their attorney for the next two years, uh, thanks to a recent appointment. Um, I've had the joy since Jim really suggested I join this organization to be on the board of directors. Uh, I'm an honorary director and I'm honored to be a director. Um, I want to thank uh, my former partner who 
made me promise that I wouldn't speak very long because he's got to get on the plane at like three o'clock in the morning. Uh, my current partner, his son, our four, four or five staff members who are here with us, and my lovely bride. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. Next we have Frontier Communications. Um, Rogi, the president of the chamber, and I had the distinct pleasure of having what we thought was just going to be an hour or two conversation with Debbie Badansky, the general manager of Frontier. And it turned into like three, four hours a day. We got to meet the, uh, who's, who's the animal guy? Who's he? We met the Frank. Frank, yes. We got to meet the mascot. The whole tour, the upstairs, the frame, the switch. You got to see it all that day. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Um, and Debbie has quite a unique history, and um, Debbie also has a great love for Chambers, which we appreciate, and we appreciate the support that we always get from you all. But what struck me uh, the most about Frontier is I didn't realize that they had literally, I thought they were just kind of regional here, you know? It's the only phone I can get in Glen Spey, I just want you to know that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, what's your carrier of Frontier? Do I have a choice? No. But, you know, it seems to work out for me. But I remember when we first moved here, that was it. So I thought you were local. We found out. They're all over the nation. And they're a publicly traded company. So, Debbie, you taught us a lot that day. And I'd like you to talk about what Frontier has gone through. We're proud to have you as part of the Hall of Fame. We know you guys are the big guys now, but you started off as the small guys, and we love that story. So, Debbie Badansky, everyone. Yes, Frontier Communications does do business today in 27 states across the country, and I guess in some ways we are big, but the key to our success is really that we are community-based and we are locally based, and that is the cornerstone to our success. Um, two other things that I will share with you because we are so very, very proud of it. Our workforce is 100% USA-based, and we were just recently named and recognized as one of the top 100 companies in the nation for being military friendly. Yeah. And it is, a big, it is a big focus for us to really go back and look at where we are supporting and working with our veterans and our military families. Um, several of our employees not only are military, but several of them are also our military spouses. And it's very important that we support and encourage them as well because it is very hard for those who are deployed and who are serving. So it really is a very special honor for us be recognized locally because again I come back to we are always looking to connect with our local communities. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the Tri-State Chamber of Commerce, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. A man who needs no introduction. He only has okay. he only has one name. Supermanto. Okay. Supermanto, the general manager of the Best Western Anytime anybody needs, I shouldn't say anytime anybody, because everybody's going to start calling you them. You know, when he gave me his cell phone, I felt so privileged. It was because I kept flooding his inbox with, with uh, you know, yeah, emails. And he says, why don't you just take my cell phone? Yeah. But Supermanto is generous of heart. He is great with his staff. Everyone loves him. Am I lying? No? Oh, God, I asked the wrong staff. <laughs> you, know, you know, what's up with that? His staff loves him. He has a big heart, a generous heart. He takes pride in everything that he does. This organization, having you here, has made strides in our community. Best Western has been a member of the chamber, even before we met you, Mr. Supermanto. Um, and I just want you to talk for a moment about this beautiful property and Best Western. And we're very proud to have you, not only on our board and our friend, but as part of the Hall of Fame. Thank you. <laughs> on behalf of uh, my entire staff and of course the management of this company, I would like to thank you for the uh, recognition of this evening. And uh, as some of you know, this property has been around for quite some time. That was built back in uh, 1987 by the Hans family. So we have been around for the last 27 years. Yeah, uh, and we're still going strong. And uh, the reason of our success was because we have a very, very good and strong team that work 
here at the hotel, and I introduced some of them here at this table. I can never do anything but all by myself, you know, and I have to have those team members who will make it happen. But then the next step is, our job is to provide the service to all the guests, all the people, and they are truly somebody special for us because without them, we won't exist. So the guests, some of them you, are the most important people in our world. And we truly appreciate your support and your business. And you I want to get a plug in for Lobster Fest? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, for the last uh, 27 years, our property, I feel that he has been known for the all you can eat lobster seafoods. Again, it's happened every Friday and Saturday. I mean, all you can eat. Well, you can eat lobster, you gotta try I it. I mean, if, if, if you're, you're a lobster lover, and this is the place for you. <laughs> so coming down Friday and Saturday, you serve for lobster seafoods, 5 to 9 p.m. Again, thank you again for, for, for the honor. And of course, I want to thank my staff, my entire team over there that make it happen. You know, and thank you. Congratulations. He also has a lobster happy words as well. Every day again. On behalf of the Tri State Chamber of Commerce, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Uh, what's a town without a great business like the Erie Hotel and Restaurant, right? Linda Brink, the proprietor of the family. What an incredible place it is. You know, just when we think you guys can't get any better, you beef up the, tra the, the, the tiki bar, right? You make that an even more happening place. The, um, the love that you put into your place of business, the love that you have for our communities here, there's not a time that something doesn't happen badly to someone and you all reach out, whether it's a fundraiser, trying to help people. Um, that's what these communities are. Although businesses are competitive with each other, we're nothing unless we have the same heart, right? We all want to see each other do well. We all want to thrive. You guys have been an incredible business that other business businesses can model themselves after. And we just want you to talk for just a minute, or two, or ten, about how great the Erie Trackside and the Erie Hotel and Restaurant are. Thank you very much to the Tri-State Chamber and for, for everybody being here tonight to honor us all. And I really appreciate it. And I just want to say without my family, my three sons that basically run the whole show for me, I'm behind the scenes, the bookkeeper, and without all my great staff, I wouldn't be where I am today. And thank you for continuing to support. On behalf of the Tri State Chamber of Commerce, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Hall of Fame.